What are PCBs, and how do they get into our diet? PCBs are polychlorinated biphenyls, and they were made、um, mostly in the 1930s through the 1970s to be put in electrical transformers. They're very heat-stable molecules that the utilities found highly useful in electrical transmission. The problem with PCBs is that they often leaked out of these transformers, or were、um, just discarded and put into、uh, lagoons and, and, and sent out into the environment as sludges, and they ended up in water bodies. So PCBs gets into a water body and gets bioaccumulated into fish. You could find it would be very hard for you to find PCBs, perhaps in the water column. You may not be able to find very much of it in the sediment, but you can find huge amounts of it in the fish. Because fish are like a sponge for PCBs, and they soak it up, and it concentrates in their in their fat of the fish, so that eating certain fish from certain water bodies can be a large risk of PCB exposure.